Hi beautiful people, welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I, or should I say my family and I had a wonderful weekend. We actually went to the air show at the Kiesler Air Force Base. It was absolutely amazing. It was something different for the kids and they had such a good time. And as for my grandbaby, she was absolutely a champ. With all that noise and chaos, she just slept. By the way, she did have earmuffs. Well, just before the air show, my husband actually sent me a message to say check your emails and when I did check my emails it was a reservation for my parents I actually put them in at the hotel and casino for the weekend just to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary which they celebrated on Thursday but we actually made these plans for them to have this whole weekend to themselves to be pampered to go to casino and all that good stuff so while I was waiting in line to enter the air show I received a message from somebody telling me that I should check on the situation that Charles was under attack and if I could please take a look into it. That is what I will be talking about in today's video but before that my usual disclaimer please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. To my knowledge for a while now Charlotte has been covering MGL aka Michelle Sabate or Sabate whatever it is and so have a few other people so apparently Charlotte has been going back and forth with this guy named Ski Mask Andy that seems to have entertained and also given a platform at times to MGL, who has been kicked off YouTube so many times, but always finds a way back to do her BS. Apparently, this Ski Mask Andy has said the most vile stuff to Charlotte and also attacked her kids. Absolutely unacceptable. And also, I did see a clip where Michelle Sabate was actually mocking Charlotte because Charlotte was crying. So I did go and watch Charlotte's videos and it seems to me as though she took the matters in her own hands and handled it the way she felt she needed to. I wasn't going to even cover this. I felt, you know what, she did what she needed to do all well and good until last night. When I saw she was live and she came to apologize to people of how she handled the situation, to which I say there's absolutely no reason to apologize. She did whatever a mother, a good mother, would have done for their kids, no matter how old they are. To my knowledge, Charlotte has never hid from the fact that she made mistakes in her life. She paid her dues. And the way she handled the situation speaks volumes to me. It tells me that no one is going to destroy or hurt what she has worked so hard to repair. And once again, I can commend her for that. She stands on a truth, accepting that she's a felon, sometimes even making a joke about it. What more do people want? Whoever is perfect and without stain, please come forward in the comment section. She also went on to thank people that made videos on her behalf in her defense. And then she also thanked nonsense. That was when I was like, oh, no, 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 Charlotte. Maybe this time you need to take those blinders off do your research don't get things twisted because nonsense never came to your defense she was all about herself it was never empathetic to what you were going through listen to this and you guys be the judge he called charlotte a liar alicia um i was really disgusted by that too because because of the past problematic history with charlotte they completely discredited what charlotte was going through and the fact of it is as many of us have been a part of the ongoing shit that has been happening over there. Like oh, she said the record straight that he called Charlotte a liar. And in my opinion, not to come to the defense of Charlotte, but to make Unirock look like the scumbag. And the reason I say this is because her whole life yesterday was to call Uni out and seems there is trouble in paradise, which I will be making a whole separate video about that. But now back to Charlotte. They tried to get Ski to go at some of us. They have had Ski as a constant distraction. She's no longer disgusted. It's all about her and the fact that many of them have been part of the ongoing shit that has been happening over there. Happening over where? And now it seems as though Ski Mask is another distraction. That's all she ever comes up with, is people are distractions. Becky, you're the biggest distraction going. And he has attacked his ex-girlfriend online he has attacked other women in the sector he has attacked numerous people over and over again it shouldn't be about charlotte he attacked so many other people so it shouldn't be about charlotte really he attacked bombshell he attacked a few tragedy pimps 
Um, he's attacked many, many people verbally and said some of the most horrific things. And yes, they did excuse the behavior because it was Charlotte and they don't like Charlotte. And she's known to have a history of poking somebody and then crying victim. Well, so does Uni. She explained that they excused what has happened to Charlotte because as she states as fact, Charlotte is known to have a history of poking at someone and then crying the victim. And then she adds Unirock to that. Charlotte, she didn't take up for you. She just used your harassment as a driving force to prove that Unirock is the same as you. So please do not take that as her taking up for you. After hearing that from Becky, that is when I thought to myself, I will be damned if I'm going to sit back and allow people to attack Charlotte, especially for her defending her family. She did what any mother would do. Of course, she was afraid for her life. When you have another felon threatening your life, wanting you to no longer be on this earth, she lives alone. What the hell? The people that say she chose to cover MGL, who was mentally ill, and she went too far. How many other people have covered Michelle? And since when her pass is given to people who claim or come to their own decision that another person is mentally ill? Now, two days ago, this is what Unirock had to say about the situation. Um, and Queen was talking about a content creator named Ski Mask Andy and someone that decided not too long ago to go at Ski Mask Andy. So I have an opinion on that mess. And so I had gone in to Queen's chat and I just let Queen B know a fact, an easily provable fact, that both of them are trolls. And I think Andy wouldn't even get mad hearing anyone say that that's what he is because of course he trolls a lot of people. So why would you get mad if somebody says, oh, you're a troll when you troll a lot of people? Now, I don't think a lot of people knew that the other individual involved in the story was also trolling and wasn't being honest. So I will call to one of my friends on the internet who I think is just a really great creator and she has a great mother and i think you know when you have a great mother you end up being a great person a lot of the time or at least it's a lot easier right now fyi this person that he's so-called friend that he's referring to is julie virgo a little bit of a backstory julie virgo actually had a falling out with charlotte on the web this is julie remember when t spiracy what she was put through and still is put through by a group of people on the internet she didn't ask for any of that that she covered an interview that he did and this content creator, Charlotte, kept covering mentally unstable people for content and money. Now it's coming back to bite her in the arse. She's asking for help from LawTube. I hope to God Nate the lawyer doesn't get tricked into giving attention to this subject. Because you would be giving attention, of course, a lot of attention, not just to Charlotte. Charlotte doesn't deserve the attention. I don't feel happy for what is happening with her, but I, I don't even understand it yet. We'll get into that in a second. Julie kind of says it perfect here. Sorry, but what did you expect? So let me call to a prediction that I made a few months ago, and this might have been like five months ago. It would have been right around the time that Michelle was banned from YouTube. Remember Michelle Sabate? I made a prediction when Michelle Sabate was banned. Certain people, for some reason, were covering her. Okay, fine. Charlotte was covering her a lot. And I'd said, because Charlotte decided to start going at Andy, and I said, what? why? Like, what's the point? I get it maybe if you're going to make a point about him, but to sit here and... Because what she was doing, essentially, was going at him, and he was going... He was turning around saying, listen, lady... I'm going to let this go, but you need to drop this because, you know, he, he essentially was disavowing. He was he was angry at the fact that he even got involved in that sphere. He called it the drama sphere, uh, the, the lady drama sphere or something. You can update me down in the chat. Uh, but but when, when Charlotte decided to keep going at him, when um when Charlotte decided to keep going at him, even though he had basically said, stop, you know, like, you don't want to do this type thing, I had made this prediction because this is what Charlotte does. Charlotte will, for whatever reason, get herself into a mess and then expect everybody to bail her out of that mess. Let me get this right. He fully sided with Ski Mask Andy. And then he gives him a pass. Because he said that Ski Mask Andy is just a troll. And that Ski Mask Andy did ask Charlotte to stop. So he calls on his friend, Julie. Sorry, but WTF did she expect? She tells Michelle to get offline when Michelle said Charlotte was a threat to her sobriety keep the same energy it's not excusing that disgusting man but did az ever get anyone to try get lord tube or anyone to help nah she just dealt with worse report and move on with your content is my advice but nobody asked for your advice don't interact with psychos online they'll scream into a void and move on that's just my opinion from my experience and watching what my pal az went through why would you play a clip on your channel that's offensive about your daughter 
when they watch your channel? Well, Julie, what I have noticed about Charlotte, and you should have noticed this about her too because you were much more friendlier with her. When she talks about her family, when she wants to show something about one of her kids or her grandkids, she always mentions that she will get permission from her kids and so I assume that she did speak to her daughter and the daughter agreed. Also in one of Charlotte's videos I did hear her mention that her daughter's husband did approach Key Mask and he cowered. Now before I go any further this is just me. Whether you like somebody or whether you dislike somebody. If their life is in danger, if they feel fearful for their life, put your feelings aside and you make sure that they are okay. That's just who I am. But not these people. These people give a fuck. Because clearly, all three of these people do not like Charlotte. Because she did not denounce Molly. And they have an issue how she runs her channel. I'm referring to the money aspect of how Charlotte's always getting super chats and PayPal's and all that different stuff. Well, like it or not, Charlotte has her own audience. They cater to her. They're willing to support her and help her out in any way that they can. And you guys just gotta suck it up. It's the same thing that they don't like Charlotte for, and they call it try begging. Correct me if I'm wrong. Juni does the same thing. Julie does the same thing. Becky is still in denial and claims, oh, this is not about the money. Oh, well, maybe she'll get there one day. Now, Becky claims to know and states as a fact that Charlotte is known for poking people and then claiming to be the victim. Now you get Unirock that gives Ski Mask a pass and says, but Ski Mask are Charlotte to stop. And he even now is a psychic and he said he predicted all this months ago. And as far as Julie goes, she had to take that last jab at Charlotte. But comparing her pal AZ, what she went through was worse than what Charlotte is going through. And she goes ahead and she states, and I quote, what the WTF did she expect? That's how she starts. And then goes ahead. Same thing what Uni did with Ski Mask. He mentions about Michelle. Michelle said that Charlotte is a threat to her sobriety. Guess what? Michelle should have gone off the internet a long time ago. And then she continues to say, all Charlotte should have done was report the content and move on. Okay. I do not think that uh, other people are held to the same standards as AZ and are expected to be like AZ and handle shit accordingly. And Julie, I also can tell you for a fact that I don't think Charlotte did expect her kids to be drugged into this mess and her life being threatened by a felon that sits on his channel and brags about the awful stuff that he's done. So then you get this much older mature woman that's living on her own whose life is actually being threatened and she just got to handle things the way AZ handles things. Okay, gotcha. She doesn't deserve help. She deserves everything that she got. That's what I took away after hearing them talk about the situation with Charlotte. At the end of the day, Charlotte was reaching out for help, fearing for her life, wanting help. But you got these three spineless, heartless backbiters that came after Charlotte rather than helped her because they can't seem to put their feelings aside for what is best at the time for Charlotte. They chose to protect the abuser, opposed to protecting the abused. And you can come at me with everything, saying Charlotte started everything. Did Charlotte threaten his life? Did Charlotte sit on a channel and discuss how big and bad she is and what she's capable of? No, she didn't. And I get it, a lot of you won't agree with me because I've watched videos, so many videos, and from the same camp of Uni and Julie and Becky, Charlotte gets blamed because she went after Michelle and Michelle has a mental illness. So everybody else has diagnosed Michelle, given Michelle a pass to do all the shit that she has done. Didn't correct Michelle for sitting on a channel and mocking Charlotte for crying. So we are giving free passes to people claiming and self-diagnosing mental illness and saying it's okay for them to do what they do, but it's not okay for somebody else to actually come and fend for themselves. But it's okay for this person with a mental illness to be making channel after channel after she gets banned to come back and do more damage because it's entertaining for y'all. That speaks volume, the type of people y'all are. So long story short, they'd rather help the abuser than help the person that's in need. 
let that sink in and even if you like or dislike charlotte in my opinion her safety should have come first Nikki claims to be the one about proof facts taking down people with problematic behavior she states that she knew how problematic ski mask was or is but once again she chose to describe charlotte and then add unirock to the same category then you get unirock who just at the end of the day needs to grow up here and find his spine while he's at it. And as far as Julie Virgo, she just could not help but take that last jab at Charlotte on the web. Now, this is the world we live in today, you guys. Everybody is all about themselves. Backbiters, spineless, heartless individuals that are just looking out for clout and wanting something that they will never ever have. Respect and class. So however you may feel about Charlotte, I can only speak up for myself. Charlotte, I am so sorry that you had to go through this. Nobody should live in fear. Nobody should have that fear of their life being in danger. Absolutely not. I'm so sorry that your family got dragged into this. I'm sorry that you had to go and defend what you worked so hard for. But I'm also glad that your kids stood by you. That is your reward to say all the hard work that you've done has paid off. So you should be proud of yourself. The way you chose to handle the situation, you did just what was best for yourself. The way you thought you could handle it. You were full of emotions. Nobody can judge you for that. You were seeking help. And as you guys, once again, as you can see the world that we live in, when somebody is in need for help, there's always going to be some people that feel that that person does not deserve the help. That you'll choose to support. Becky, Unirock, Julie Virgo, that will take up for the abuser and put salt in the wounds of the abused. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Please be safe out there, be kind to one another, and don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.